Not sure if I showed you before, but they do have a house. Can you not be in just one of my videos, cat? Another beautiful sunny day outside, but it's a lot of wind. And welcome to the Q&A section. The section of every YouTube channel that is both cringy and kind of funny. We'll try to make it only funny. No, 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 no. We'll try to make it serious. No, 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 no. We'll try to make it... We'll try to make it. Because you guys didn't ask too many questions. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to have to respond to a thousand questions. So I'm going to have to pick the questions apart. Like, oh, this question is dear to me. Oh, this question I don't really like. Oh, this question sucks. Oh, this question is freaking good. So yeah, I guess I'll be answering every single question. At Skoni SD asked, Kako se nosiš sa popularnošću? To be fair, no one from Serbia is watching this, so I'm just gonna translate it and answer it in English. How do you deal with popularity? This question, I was waiting for someone to ask. Jovan, can I get an autograph? Of course you can, of course you can. Man, I have to say, it's really hard. 24 hours a day, fans are crazy about me. The Unknown Soldier 12 asks, what is the idea for your next video? To that I have to say, I don't have ideas for videos. I don't write scripts for videos. In fact, I literally, shit you not, I just, press the record button and talk some nonsense. Literal nonsense. But to be fair, I have to answer your question somewhat. So yeah, I, I do have one idea that's like, I should probably do like a, like a horse stance. Do you remember my last video with the plank? Yeah, it was yesterday or two days ago, depending on when I upload this one. But uh, this is going to be a more fun version of that. I'll be doing a horse stance while doing something in a horse stance. And to be honest, yeah, these like static holds really kill me, man. I, I hate them so much. Hey guys, I'm an international pilot now and I have my license to prove you that. Hold on a sec. Esther Ruliana asked, why is your nose sharp? I want it too. Esther, I believe it's all about genetics, but uh, I'm not sure if you really want my nose. Let me tell you a little backstory about my nose. Ever since I'm aware of my existence, which is like since I was five, I guess. People have been killing me about my nose. I literally, I don't have a single friend who's not, at the very least, politely saying, your nose is really big. So, and people were always joking that even if I catch a cold, my nose holes are so big that, like, let me translate to English. Like, you know when the sacred is, like, making you unable to breathe through your nose? They were always joking me that that can't happen to me. Obviously, it can happen to me. It happened to me. I can breathe in a lot of air through my nose holes. Hi, this is my question for you. Um, my first question is, as you grow each day, what is the most valuable lessons that life teaches you? Hey, Michelle. Thank you for sending your questions in video format, it makes things much more interesting. And now for my answer, as with everything in life, growing in anything, 
the most value. As I grow in any field of life, the most valuable thing I learn is appreciation. There was a time when I didn't appreciate what I have and it was all taken away from me. And this time I'm not going to repeat my mistakes and I'm going to appreciate everything that I have, including you. And including every single person who takes their time out of their day to watch my videos. It's not a lot of people, but for me, it's the most fulfilling thing happening in my day. And my second question is, how can you live a good life with satisfaction? Hey, I'm no expert, but to live a good life with satisfaction, I believe that you must do whatever it is that truly fulfills your heart and just energizes you. For me, it's storytelling and creating. Most of us are stuck in some jobs that we don't really want, but we really need the money. But what we should do, what we must do, is try our best to get into whatever it is that we love as soon as possible. And of course, to live a good life, you really need some good people in it. Last question comes from an anonymous person, meaning the person doesn't want their name to be put in the video. And it is, your hair looks kind of bad. Why don't you take a haircut? I'll explain. <laughs> I can't cut my own hair, because I would make a literal disaster out of myself. I guess I would make such a disaster that I couldn't get out of my room even if there was no coronavirus. And there are no barber shops working at the moment. At least not in my place, so like, you know, nobody knows how to cut my hair and I just don't want to ruin myself even further. I know my hair is atrocious, you can see it's really bad, but soon people, soon. And then soon will be a year later. That does conclude today's video and I just want to say thank you everybody for watching. It means hell of a lot. And yes, my window can finally be opened and I can finally have some daylight. This light is what I really love, not turning on some bulb. This is the nature, buddy. This is what we live for. As always, of course, I know you've been waiting for this scene for the entire video. Yeah, I'll do it. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye. And share it with your friends and possibly click on the bell so that you get notified about my videos. Bye! Third time was the charm.